Okay, I know we've taken notes on subtracting integers before, but I just want to review it because it has been like a week. So a reminder, integers are just like positive or negative numbers. So remember, whenever we're doing these, we always use the idea of boom, boom. Remember, we're going to turn every subtraction problem into an addition problem because adding integers is easier. All right, so let's do four examples. So example one, negative three minus negative two. So remember when you boom, boom, you never touch this first number. Leave that alone. You ch change the subtraction to an addition. And then I change the sign of the second number. Okay, so if I go back, that would be boom, boom. Because I change the sign of the subtraction. And then I change the sign of the second number. And now what this problem looks like is negative 3 plus 2. So if I use my negatives and positives, 3 negatives two positives, take out my zero pairs, and that equals negative one. Okay, so we're just making it look like an addition problem because those, um, we know how to do more. All right, example two, you're doing four examples total, is negative five minus two. So same thing on this one, don't touch the first number. You change the subtraction to addition, so boom, and I change the sign of the second number, boom. So that was a positive two, now it turns negative, so let me do it again. So I go boom, boom. And now this problem is negative five plus negative two. So I have five negatives plus two negatives would be negative seven. Okay. So in each of these, I'm just changing it to an addition problem and then doing what we've been practicing uh, for a few weeks now. Okay, third one is three minus a negative three. Okay, so same thing. I go boom, boom. Again, we don't change a sign the first number. This one always just stays the same by change subtraction to addition and change a sign the second number. So if I go back again, it was boom, boom. So now this problem is three plus three, because that's now a positive three, and that obviously equals six. All right, last one. All right, two minus negative eight. Okay, so same thing we've been doing. Boom, boom. So now the problem is 2 plus 8, which equals 10. Okay, so remember every time it's boom, boom. So you have to be doing one boom and a second boom. Um, so you're changing subtraction to addition and then change the sign of the second number.